Good morning, everyone. I am going to start today off by cutting open the SuperTech ST9688 oil filter. This is the one that came off my Subaru. I'm not sure how long it was on there. Might have been on there for about a thousand miles. Not really sure. Um, it appears to have a blue valve at the bottom. There it is, shining it down in there. Let me see if focus will work. You know, again, I'm not really working with any kind of good camera skills or anything. I just have my phone. So if you like videos from channels like Whip City Wrencher, I will tag him in the comments. Then this video is for you. So the first thing that I did, the um, first thing that I did was drain some because uh, there's a lot of oil that came out. So anyway, on with it. This is a SuperTech ST9688. I do not have a good camera set up and I apologize for that. So literally what I'm going to do right now on camera is cut the filter open. I'm going to take my tool. I'm going to tighten it up. Tighten it up. Tighten it up. Maybe put some more light on it for you guys. All right. Tighten it up like that. And the way that I get it around, let me show you a little trick I use. I thought the camera was going to stay stationary. It's not going to stay stationary. Let me show you a little trick I use. Best motor oil in the world, by the way. I take my oil filter wrench. And this is going to help me. You know what? Got an idea. There we go. So, I take my oil filter wrench. And it will actually help me once I get this tightened up. I felt it puncture the can right there. It will actually help me turn it. So let's do this. That's going to make a mess, but here we go. And that's working out well. Oh yeah, this one's going to be easy. I hear the oil coming out of it too. That means this, this may have been a well-oiled filter. Haha. <laughs> so what I did is I just adjusted it in a little bit more. We're in the mess making mode at this point. And voila. It is now cut open. So the first thing that we see, this is how it looks sitting inside of the can. The the anti-drain back valve appears to be black. I really should set this on fire. Maybe I'll make a note to uh, set that on fire. But anyway. Anyways. Here's the media. There we go. This is how the media of the oil filter looked. You could see the can. I'm rotating it for you. Um, SuperTech ST9688. And it uh, doesn't really, I don't know. All the oil filter experts out there, please chime in. Okay, this is how the actual can and media looks. I should take a knife and cut it open, sure, but for now. You know, we got the uh, anti drain back valve and can. So here's, well, here's the spring. Here is the uh, spring that came out of the ST9688. It does, in fact, appear to be blue. The oil makes it look green, but it's blue. All right, so let's keep going because I, I want to make my noodles. I got my noodles on the pot behind me. I want to eat my noodles. But for now, we're talking about the filter. So here's the... Uh, here's the base plate. Here's the base plate. Um, still has oil in it. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
It looks like 13 holes, maybe? I didn't count. 14? Why would it be an odd number? But here's the base plate of the oil filter. And there's really not much left in there after that. So let me just make this quick. This in recap. This is a SuperTech ST9688 filter. I forgot to get the uh, date code. This one says it was a product of the EU. The date code was 0705235ES. Well, That's got to mean something about manufacture. Maybe a Julian date. No, it's not a Julian date. But it says product of the USA. Look at the second line. Product of the USA. Here's how it looked on the inside. Okay. So therefore, this is how my oil looked then out of the Subaru. And let's recap. This is the base plate. Nice, thick rubber gasket there. I always did like the gasketing on the Supertex. Had a really good gasket. I didn't count how many holes. Maybe you can. And here's how that looks on the inside. Also being careful not to cut my finger open because metal edges are sharp. Be safe and be careful. Here's that filter media one more time. You know, um, could get my knife out and cut it. And here's the anti-drain back valve. And here's the uh, spring. There's a spring right there. Autofocus is behaving today. That's good. So, um, I was looking for my knife very quickly. I didn't find it right away, so I guess it's going to live another day. But if you all maybe want to see, maybe this isn't as hard as I thought. You just poke it up with the screwdriver. So this is how the media will look on an ST, pretty well soaked through. Can I pull it a little bit? Probably can. Um, and you can see inside to the can too. So let me just see if I can get a little bit more up because, you know, we basically showed you the filter. And this is what the oil filter looks like there. So I am now going to get rid of this and go and, um, well, slightly oily hands. All right, and now that we've done with the video, I'm going to go eat my noodles. You have a wonderful day.